part of it is understanding every business in the world as a shape the way the phone sensors see it. So this is the Mall of America, which is pretty easy from a satellite map to, to draw. And this is just a week. These dots are all a week of check-ins, just one week of check-ins. And you get this sort of machine learning truth, the, the center of the shape, the blue dots are within the, the polygon, and we get these concentric circles to build the shape. That's pretty easy to do from a satellite map. It's pretty hard to understand that the J Crew, however, which is this shape, is on the second floor, which we understand through Wi-Fi triangulation and beacons, and the GPS shape of that. Is, there's no way you can understand that from satellite, and we understand the shape. We understand the Starbucks inside the Mall of America because through eight billion check-ins, we've mapped basically every material business in the world. And so the community is constantly evolving. And you know, there are people who walk down the block and they're the pink dots who, who still have their latte and check in. But that's what I do because truth. I, sometimes, you know, like I don't want to check in. I do like a post check-in. A post check-in. Because exactly. I'm like, well, I don't want people to drop by. So I check in on the way out. Well, you're, a, you're a celebrity, so. Me, like a mini careful. celebrity. Um, so, you know, that, that's, that's a little bit how it works. And, and then constantly, you know, we're out creating these shapes and the community is tagging them. But it also tells us what time of day they're popular. It tells us, you know, we've mapped 100 million Wi-Fi connection points in the world. We've mapped several million, several million beacons and we've mapped 100 million places, about 65 million businesses. So what can you do with all this data we can talk about? But the beauty is that the community is constantly, every, every business has a shape and it's the way the phones see the world, which lets us connect the phone in your pocket or your purse uh, or in your, your you know, hipster bag uh, to the place that you happen to be standing. Like this is the High Line and automatically when the High Line in New York, if you know it, gets bigger because they added another section, our community tags a new shape and the, the shape evolves. And so every day people are out there keeping these shapes fresh, which lets us do something magic, which is you don't have to check in anymore for contextual awareness. That you just simply... Um, if, you're, if you are at the beer garden at the Standard in New York on Thursday night when people are spilling out, the shape actually extends into the street in the meatpacking district. And, you know, we understand that the phone in, in the purse or the phone in your back pocket is in that place at that time. And we can, we can ping you with a tip or advice. So that's, that, that's kind of a bit of magic, which lets us start to understand and aggregate the foot traffic patterns of the entire world's economy. Hey everybody, let me tell you a little bit about Envision app. I use Envision app all the time with my designer, my product manager, my growth team to share mock-ups of our products. We take those mock-ups and we design them and we send them to clients, to partners, to investors. And we say, here is an Envision link. Open this on your iPhone, on your Android phone, and you can click through and see what this product that we're making is like. And when we're building websites, hey, put your comments on there. We have a partner. We have a big Smart Camp thing going on with IBM, Smart Camp 2015. You know, we can use Envision to share that website and say, hey, is there anything you want to change? And then have a threaded discussion. You can take all those discussions off of email, all those discussions out of the chat room. Listen, email and chat rooms have their place, but not in product design. Envision is like Slack, but for product design, right? So you have Slack for a general conversation. You have Gmail for, you know, asynchronous communication. You have Envision for product design. Excellence. You cannot make a great product without Envision. I am dead serious about that. Every startup I invest in, I show it to them. They ask them to send me links, and boy, does it work. It supercharges everything you do. I love this product. I love this product. I love this product. Get out of email. Get out of chat rooms. And do what Twitter, Airbnb, Evernote, Adobe, and many more are doing. Prototype um, what you're doing in Envision. It just makes designers and teams and founders so, so, so much more efficient. Go to envisionapp.com slash twist for 90 days free. That's their starter plan, free for 90 days, only at envisionapp.com slash twist, envisionapp.com slash twist. And everybody thank Envision App on Twitter. I thank them for making a great product and for supporting independent media like this week in startups. Let's get back to this amazing episode. Mm -hmm. 